For $84,000, an artist returned two blank canvases titled Take the Money and Run, all right? This particular artist all right, uh, received this money from the museum. The money was supposed to be used to create modern art, so they get commissioned to create art uh, for their exhibitions and whatnot. Uh, and it was, but not in the way that the Danish museum expected when it gave that artist the equivalent of $84,000 in kroners. That's uh, art, though. They received two uh, empty canvases, right? Let me... He got, they got trolled. Give me an exact one. Ooh, that's a nice canvas. Two yeah. of them. Very white. You got yeah. two of them. Mm -hmm. All right. Got it from Blick. <laughs> but, but, but he titled it, uh, Take the Money and Run. Right, the artist Jens uh, Haining says the blank canvases make up a new work of art titled Take the Money and Run that he calls a commentary on poor wages. Okay. One thing it's not, he says, is a theft. Explicitly. He still was uh, willing to comment and still like comment on all this, you know. He says uh, the Danish museum says it's a breach of contract and the breach of contract is, or, or no, he says it's a breach of contract but the breach of contract is part of the work. That's what makes it what it is. Is art how much Holy the paint shit. weighs on the canvas, sirs? Yeah. He says, the work is that I have taken their money. Because in uh, in this day and age, an artist uh, kind of like, I guess his, his idea, obviously, in modern art was to be like, um, basically put, you can, a, a museum will be willing to like be like, here's a bunch of cash, and they had expected to contract him to take that money and literally put it in the art to express modern art using the cash. And he called it, take the money and run. He was, Cause that's modern art. He's like, you're willing to, yeah. to pay $84,000 to put in the art, but you won't be willing to pay the artist to create that. I think that's dope. You know what I'm saying? In yeah. terms of having that. So he's like, no, I'm taking that money. Yeah. The only irony in that is that the contract of the art piece says that the money that would have been used to create the art is to be returned at the end of the contract in January. Wait, why the fuck would he return the money if he's doing the work for it? I don't get it. Uh, in terms of using the actual money to create the physical art. material, so all yeah. of it has to be used. 84 G's of paint? Uh, no, 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 like money, like literal money. Like the cash, the paper, they have to tape it to the oh, canvas sure. or something. He was supposed to use that money. Oh, in order I didn't to create know that. In a reversible way where oh, wow. they can take it back off and give yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That was like the idea of it, oh. I believe. Oh, yeah. that's different then. I didn't know that shit. That's oh, they wanted cash to be used. I believe so. Yeah. Are you sure? It's not uh, the cost of the material. No, it's the value, but but the actual, they, they gave it in kroner. The and physical they bills, they yeah. wanted to create an art with it. Yeah. So, How would he uh, do it without damaging the money so and then being able to extract it back out? In glue stick, baby. Yeah. As if that doesn't yeah. damage it. <laughs> so he sends two large crates to the museum uh, as they uh, prepared to mount the work themed uh, show that opened the previous weekend. And when they opened the boxes, they were surprised to find two blank canvases. CEO oh. of the uh, museum says he actually laughed as he saw it. Um, and then uh, it was obviously titled Take the Money and Run, so he kind of like got it in the moment. Um, the delivery quickly after. provoked a flurry of emails and messages after. at the museum. Anderson says that while, uh, the, the CEO of the, the museum, he says that while Haining's initial work converted money into art, the new work reminds us that we work for money and also adds a new twist to the debate over how an artist's work should be valued. So he Hilarious. He, he told the right it, people. But, but contractually, <laughs> he still needs to get the money back in jail. Oh, yeah. I mean, but he did his job. I mean, look, we're talking about it. I saw it on Instagram. Like, everyone was talking about yeah. it. I mean, that's pretty genius. He executed yeah. it. So the mu museum's not taking legal action yet, but I mean, at the end of the day, he, like you said, he did the job and it's provocative. That's the whole point right, of art. Right, right. And then we're talking about it and we're just like, yeah, <clears throat> what is, he couldn't have bought that reach. And I didn't know that that's how they commission artists either. Like how museums, I didn't know that they paid for it. I thought it was just, um, you have an exhibit because you're being showcased or a theme or whatever, and then you're just submitting your shit. That's crazy. I don't know if they would necessarily always pay for it, but in this particular type of art concept, if they're providing like the, uh, I guess in this sense, it's the medium. Yeah. Right? Then that's like slightly different, but still, um, obviously, like like we talked about, like why the fuck would we even know about any artwork that happens to come out into a, a modern contemporary art museum in, in you know, yeah. nobody's talking about any of that shit. They're talking about this kind of shit. Right. Yeah. So it's good. 
uh, as much as it's simple. I, I guess I always respect any art that's done cleverly like this the first time, right? Mm -hmm. The second person did it, it's like, mmm, Danish dude did it already. Dude, the Banksy shredder move was like the greatest. I fucking love that move. So good. You buy it and it goes, That was the greatest fucking thing. And watching all of them, you just go like, oh my fucking god. <laughs> Perfect. And then valuing so it even good. more again. Yeah, well, yeah, and then and then going like, surely we can make more money from this, huh? <laughs> I was at the um, Caesar, Caesar Forum shops in Vegas, and they have stores that that basically sell like OG Picassos and whatever you can buy it. Um, and then and I was just shocked because I thought it was just an art gallery, and it was like cool stuff. And then I walked up and I was like, oh, that looks like a Picasso. And then the the sales guy was how like, quaint. <laughs> Basically, the the guy was like, "Yeah, you know, they always say Picasso is like the best, uh, I guess, copier of his own art." And I was like, "Wait, that's original Picasso?" And he goes, "Yeah." And I'm like, "Oh shit, these are all originals?" Because I never seen like a real one outside of a museum. Is there like a price tag on it? Yeah, there you could you could get some for a couple grand. Well, some of them are just sketches and whatever. Wow. They're not like the actual pieces like that. Prints. No, they're they're his real what copies, the his fuck? sketches, wow. his 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 drawings, his some paintings. He's like, I see his NFT head right now. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. I was like, exactly. holy crap! So okay, this is for six hundred bucks. This is that, and I would go around, and there's like, you know, Rembrandts and all these other artists that we like learn about in art history. These are the originals that you can wow. buy, that you can actually fucking, and, and then some of them are just sketches, they're not like full paintings or whatever, but they're still like in the thousands of dollars. Wow. Like some like, like low thousands? Yeah, like what? affordable, yeah. Like some of them, I saw one, it was like this little etching, it was like 600 bucks. What? Yeah, it's like this just small. Joke that scam, guys. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. No, right? <laughs> That's but what I, it sounds like it's wild. I need someone that knows this stuff that could come oh, in. Stars. <laughs> oh, stars. Oh, gotta oh, get him in there, dude. Oh, oh, dude. Uh, but, but Picasso reproductions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they, you know, it's like going and buy a car, right? Like you, you gotta have somebody with you that knows this stuff, and they'll be oh, like, yeah. yeah, that one, that shouldn't be six hundred or whatever. That should be five. And I'm like, I want to get into art just for that. Just like NFT shit, but I was—I always thought like, where do you buy this stuff? Like, you gotta you gotta go to an art thief in France, so and he has a closet full of fucking Monets and shit. Right, that's true. Yeah, who do you go to? Yeah, that? just a fucking guy with a giant trench coat. <laughs> just framed. Yeah. Real big. Hey, who made that piece back there? Oh, that's a uh, Bart. It's a Picasso. Dude. How, hey, how much do you think that's worth? This is a Bobby Lee original. He actually did it during the sketch. I collaborated with Sriracha Sauce. Oh, that's there's Sriracha on there? there? Yeah, there's Sriracha, and this is Bobby Lee. And I'm sure he touched his nuts at some point <laughs> and rubbed it on the painting. That's good. Nice. Yep. That was what, his brush. What would you appraise this at? $30. $30. <laughs> we should get all the guests to have some sort of fucking painting. And that's true, it. huh? And then we A can, small one. Yeah, and we can make a whole wall out of it's that. It's a Ryan May original, and it's, yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. That will be cool. I have a canvas and some paint too. You just gotta put paint on your hair and you just do like a Slush drill it around. Yeah. That will be cool. And then we fill up these walls with just uh, art from guests and fans. We'll devalue these walls. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> the, the blank drywall's worth more. It was worth way more actually. We didn't know the whole time. This drywall looks expensive as fuck. Look at it. It's been through a lot. I still don't understand the, the penis over there, how yeah. it's so good. Yeah, it's who shaped that? It's not Bart. No. It, it wasn't meant to be a dick. It wasn't meant to be an addition? No, but Bart elbowed it. Your elbow is the shape of a penis? There's yep. two balls on it. There's a sack on it and a shaft. It's not fair to them. They can't see it. It's not fair to them. We'll turn the camera. <laughs> we could okay. cut that out and then we'll sell it as an NFT. <laughs> oh, that's a good oh. NFT, dude. Take a pick. Throw it in. Oh. All right. Yeah, that this shit was pretty dope though, man. When he hit it. It's definitely cock and balls for sure. Okay. Especially from my angle right here. Did you know like at the win and the encore, if you go uh, above a certain floor, which you have to get like a nice enough room to get it, they have like those original Da Vinci, whatever, Monet's, like it's all displayed. Oh, in, your hotel? I think in, he's the the, in the hallway and stuff. There's like millions and millions worth of paintings. How do they protect that shit? He's one of the most, um, Biggest collector, a private collector of uh, fine art. Well, it's because wow. uh, those rooms are so expensive. I think that kind of like weeds out who would be stealing or not. 
Got it. Because it's like just other crazy ballers that are like, oh, cool, like, let's just make it nice. How expensive is the room? And it is a casino. Those things are pretty, it's like a bank, you know? Oh, yeah. It's like a resort bank. It's a 100% bank. <laughs> the drawing. Oh, that's <laughs> really nice. <laughs> Yo, let's go, get, let's go get some art. Let's go get some art. Like I'm real art? Yeah, real art. Like with our idea. with our fucking crypto. I can't be spending more than 50 bucks. I have to <laughs> <laughs> go to Art Walk. Down That's down. the limit, you guys. 50 bucks. Yo, when I come up, I'm gonna buy you guys all some Picassos or some oh, shit. With yeah. the sketches, but not not the Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that. Oh, when I come up, I'm gonna buy y'all Picasso sketches. <laughs> when I come up. That's some fucking swag. That's still right sick there. though. That's sick as fuck. Has anybody ever told you that in life? When I come up, I'm gonna do this, and then they actually came up and you never got the thing. It's never happened. Nah, because I'm usually the richest one in the room. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey hook it up. Hook it up. Know.